Hi, Cancer. Welcome to June 2018. How are my friends, Cancer friends? You guys are amazing. You guys are so amazing. You've had it rough for a while, but now things are turning around. I can feel it. Okay, we're coming into June 2018, which is half the year has, has gone, and we've learned a lot, right? A lot of karmic endings have taken place. A lot of new beginnings are coming into play now. Now things are turning around for us. Everything's turning around. Okay, so we have Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising here. If it doesn't resonate, then it's not for you. If um, you know your moon and ascendant and or ascendant, I would suggest watching all of them just to get a clear picture and even more in-depth information. If this doesn't resonate, it's cool. I want to thank all my subscribers. Uh, the newbies, I love you all. Uh, those, oh, welcome to my family. Uh, the ones that have been with me, subscribed to me already, thank you all for sticking around. And I also want to thank those who haven't subscribed yet because, hey, it's up to you. It's okay. It's cool. All right? It's all good. Yeah, it's all good in the hood. It is. It really is. All right, Cancer. I'm going to move. I'm going to do the same uh, reading as I always do on the monthlies. We're going to do three stacks of cards. Let the story unfold. Let the magic happen. And then I'm going to do love. And I'm surprising everyone with a roomy card this month. Okay. I'm going to move this down, and I will definitely show you the cards. You can see them, okay? Give us really clear, precise messages, angels, for all of my Cancer friends, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Okay? All right, let's see what we got here. All right, so... We have Knight of Swords in reverse, which means right now we're not communicating um, any information to anyone because we're waiting for the wheel to turn around. So I'm thinking that maybe there was communication and now we're just waiting for the clarity, uh, a message coming in so that this, this karmic wheel can now turn and energy can start moving forward. But we're not there yet. Okay, and this is about love, the Two of Cups. Okay, so we are kind of, we're closing out a cycle. See, I, I said it, this karmic cycle is happening for like almost all the signs. Everyone is going through and it's, I'm, I know it's the planetary aspects. Uranus is in Taurus. There's Pluto's retrograde. There's a lot of things going on in the planetary um, uh, astrological cycles, which change our cycles, right? Because that's how it happens. It's like mind, body, soul, right? So when the planetary aspects change, so these kind of things move once they're, they're complete, so that's what happens. It takes time. It's like what? You know, 30, 31 days in the month, 28, 31 days in a month. It takes a cycle. A pregnancy takes nine months to, to come into fruition. So it's the same kind of idea when, it, when we're dealing with a karmic cycle. We're dealing with cycles that need to end because they're no longer serving us for our highest good. And now we have external to us, Cancer, we have a Leo Aries Sagittarius, which could be external to you or it could feasibly be your moon or ascendant sign. That's why it's so important to know because when these characters show up in your, in your reading, we don't know, is this a significant person who you're in love with and now the cycle's closing? Or is this you? Is it your ascendant or moon sign? 
So you need to know these, okay? In any event, let's just say if it is external to you, it's a fire sign. And you could be having words now because things aren't closing out as quickly as you want. And it could be someone from a distance to you with regard to this situation, this karmic cycle ending. This could even be, well, it is a love. It is, I think, I feel it's a soulmate. Um, it's been going through all the readings, yes. You feel like you've been a victim of circumstance in love. And now we went from, and now I'm losing my voice, why? Because we, we don't want to speak about it. But we're going from a mature Leo Aries Sag to a not so happy mischievous Leo Aries Sag. Could this be a child? Yes, but I'm thinking that it, if it is external as a child, it could be in a relationship with a child that a close, an ending of a cycle is closing up. Yeah, or someone's just flat out just not happy about this. Cycle closing. Yeah, so you feel like you've been left out in the cold for some reason. Why? Well, there was an injustice, clearly. We're going to see it. Look it. Someone walked away. Someone had to walk away from a situation, and you're trying to find your balance. It was either you or someone you're dealing with. Could be that fire sign or it could be you. And you're needing to, to gain your strength back. Maybe you, Cancer, had to, to walk because there was a third party involvement. And if it wasn't a third party, being that younger fire sign, then it's just someone external. It could be just a child. Yeah, see, look at, she's holding a child in her hand. So that could be the third party, not saying it's cheating. Yeah, look, we got kids everywhere here. One's happy, one's not so happy. One's mischievous, I mean, and one's not happy. They're both not happy. Hello. Okay, water and fire. We do have an immature water sign. And I'm going to say it because they're reversed. There's nothing mature about an ir a, a, a page who's reversed. That's, there's nothing mature about it. They're kind of emotional. They're not happy. <laughs> Look, yeah, they're not happy. This could be you. This could be you going from a childhood issue into an issue that's now repeating itself in your present time. Cancer. Scorpio, Pisces, or this could be someone in your external world who's not happy. And it's taking you every strength. A father figure is the emperor, usually. A father figure who has the knowledge and has the light. So you need to be strong about what's going on here. All right, and it may involve a couple with two children that are just not happy. It could be more children, but two out of how many else are not happy. Or this, this water sun child is just a representation of your childhood and something repeating itself here in the, in the now. If it is external to you, it is an external Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Okay? Childhood. See? This is about your childhood. Repeating again. Cancer. Something in your childhood is repeating again now. Now. Mm -hmm. A pattern is return. Yep. It's a family issue. It's, it's a divorce. And a couple of the children are not happy about it. So now here you are, wanting to offer your love. 
you wanting to offer your love to make things right within a family unit. within a family unit. Look at how the colors match. Look at how perfectly the colors match. So what are we talking about here when we look at yellow and blues and greens? We're looking at healing something from our childhood that's repeating now. We're looking at finding patience and strength to heal to forgive and to move on that made our family upside down, that turned our lives upside down. And it comes from childhood. Yes, 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 Cancer. Okay, what is the scenario? It could be, because I hear you guys asking me this. What could the scenario be? It could be about a divorce that happened to your parents and now it's happening to you. And there was... I'm going to wait to say forgiveness, but somewhere along the line, some forgiveness has to happen. It could be about a kid. The kids aren't happy with this pattern repeating. Okay? There's two kids here. So you're waiting. Or actually, the yellow is waiting for it to kind of like, you're offering love and you're waiting for the happy family unit again. And this actually, I'm so sorry, is about you changing your perspective and moving forward with a change of perspective. It is waiting on something. So maybe you're waiting on the divorce to be finalized. You're waiting on secrets to come out, illuminate, to illuminate. Secrets, something's gonna come out here in the month of June. Oh my God, you're waiting for a passionate new love and the old to go away as illusion. It was an illusion. Something was an illusion and now with the truth of the secrets coming out, this is the truth is gonna, the truth of love that you have for someone or someone has for you is going to come out and write this up upright. It's going to make this right. Wow. Oh my goodness. Cancer. This is big love. You're waiting for something to come out. Yeah. Not yet. Not yet. It's coming. You'll be enlightened and then you can move forward. It's not happened yet. And it may not happen in June. Yeah. You can't move forward yet because of this reason. So there's a divorce. Here we are. Yep. Here's a divorce with an air sign. Cancer. Someone is getting divorced. You are either the child or part of the family unit or the or somewhere along here you are the person who's holding some secrets within a family unit either you are someone else's you're waiting for a divorce to happen and you know something that someone you're you know something cancer this is a lawyer wow and this is also a couple Splitting. Cancer, what's... Oh, oh my God. <laughs> All right, now we have an earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. See, this is why, Cancer, it's so important to know your moon and ascendant sign and those in your family unit or circle of friends because now we have a situation where... We have a potential breakup because of either a water sign, an earth sign, or, a, or an air sign. Actually, all signs. So we do have a divorce. So I'm going to put that card down because I see this as the divorce card. 
We had we have a divorce that's going on and you know something. Someone knows something in the divorce. Someone's got some secrets that are going to come out that are going to make someone want the divorce, want closure. It could be you getting involved in this big love with someone who is an earth sign cancer. And this could have been standing in your way. And maybe this is the love that you thought cancer that you had. It was the big love that you wanted to offer, but someone's in this third party's in your way, so you're not feeling good about it. Mm -hmm. And you're potentially, maybe you gave some money to someone and you're not getting it back, or they are not in a divorce if it is a parent situation. You just want to, you just want a passionate new beginning, Cancer. That's what you guys want. You want a passionate new beginning with a with a huge love, right? The Ace of Cups. All right, what else is happening? But you're scared. Wait, why are you scared? You're scared to manifest this because you don't feel like you have all the means. It really looks like this on the table. Or, no, it doesn't. No, I apologize. It's this way. You're not able to manifest out of fear because of financial per financial reasons. And worry. You're worrying, Cancer. You're worrying that this is going to in affect your finances. Maybe you have, someone doesn't know about you're relying on someone for money, cash flow, and the truth comes out about it. So now you're going to be like not having the cash flow coming in that you once had. It, oh, yeah, it's about money. So you're waiting. You're waiting for a payout. Or you're waiting for that payout and you're stuck in your head about it. Yeah, you're waiting for a payout. You're waiting for the big bucks. And you're worried about it. You're all up in your head about it. You can't manifest anything because this is what this is all you're thinking about. You're you're fearful that the money supply is not going to be there like it was before. Maybe it's because of a divorce. And it's love. It's that one cup of love that you want. This is about love and money, by the way. Yep, staying in your head. There's addiction going on. Here we go. That's why this karmic, that's why this karmic cycle has to end. And it's not because the, these this is an addictive situation that you're in, Cancer. You could be someone's third party as well. That's what I hear. And secrets are coming out. Mm -hmm. And it's not only gonna affect your love life, but it's gonna affect your financial stability once this comes out. Someone was relying on you for money and, you know, sex. I'm gonna say it. You're not using your intuition about the situation. Oh yeah, you have an earth sign here that you're not, you're not using your intuition about. You're all in your head about it. You're worried something's coming to light or they are. They are, they're looking at the high priestess. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. They're worried the truth's gonna come out. Someone's gonna spill the beans. 
someone spills the beans, the truth comes out, and guess what? It's going to set you free. Free from this bondage. Oh my goodness gracious. Come on, Cancer. you got to get out of this. And you're being asked to have faith. Everyone's being asked to have faith. To allow this tower to turn around and start a new fresh beginning. You're being asked to turn this around, have faith that when it does, justice will be served. I don't have the justice card. I don't need it. Once you have faith that allowing this to happen on its own recognizance, then you can start a new fresh beginning instead of being someone's hookup. Cancer. This is what it's about. It's about being someone's just one-nighter. The Knight of Wands is someone who just comes in and out for that one reason. That's it. They don't, they don't stick around. You have to have faith. See? There's the justice card. Justice is going to be served, whether it's for you or someone else. It's going to happen. The third party is gone. This is over. We're starting new. We're starting fresh. Start this new, start this new journey, Cancer, without, with, with faith and without this. So you're being asked from the spectrum. Look at the spectrum here. You see what I'm doing. Look at the spectrum here. And what's in the middle? You can either go this way or you can go that way. And what's in the middle? No more third party. You could have been cancer someone's third party and you're not allowing it to end because it is, it is not healthy. It's a cyclical pattern that justice is going to be served. And then once justice is served, you, you can move forward. Yeah. Then you can go ahead and move forward. What's in the middle of that? Now work on where you, you know, making money. And really making money and really just making wise decisions that will bring in, you know, better choices that you, that represent you, Cancer. No longer are you going to be swayed because the truth's coming out about somebody and the ending of that. Once the truth comes out, the ending's done and we're victorious, Cancer. Hello. This is beautiful. So once the truth comes out, the ending is finally done. The karmic ending is complete. You have a victory and you're like, hallelujah, now I can get on with my life because this has been, I'm feeling a heavy burden for you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Forgiveness. Someone needs to forgive you, Cancer, or you need to forgive someone else. So that is part of the closure. It is. And having patience and knowing this was a blessing in disguise. Yes. Being patient with yourself. Being balanced again. Bringing in that balance into your life through what? Faith and forgiveness. Whatever happened in the past that's happening again you're being asked to forgive. No one said forget. To forgive, though, and move on. So this cycle, this truth will set you free, Cancer. Yes. And then you can move forward. You can't, you can't move forward until you get this forgiveness. And then all the blessings will be yours. And the illusion will go away. Forgiveness has a way of doing that, and so does faith. The karmic justice will be served. Okay, the last card in this is a new beginning, a fresh new start. Illusions be gone. Once everything turns itself around, we will be starting new. Cancer, you will be on a new journey. 
the blessings that you receive will be also monetary blessings once you figure it all out. Once you start a new beginning, this will turn itself around. Once this karmic completion happens and the lies come to, to light, the Ace of Swords, you have to have faith that you can do it on your own. Okay, Cancer, wow, what a reading. Cancer, what's going on? All right, Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Ascendant. Cancer, the truth will set you free. Sometimes it's a rough, that car, any karmic completion takes, takes a while, not only to complete, but the truth will set you free. And that is part of growing, growing up in healing and forgiving. You're being asked to do all three. Have faith, forgive, and let go. And please, don't find yourself, if you do, if you end up in these cyclical patterns, you know, this is just karma that is coming back. That's why they call it karmic cycles. So, so get into your next cycle, um, your next new beginning. Make it, Cancer, something that is, you know, not about don't 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 be in cir circles where there's lies and deceit and people only do things for money and not for love or for the love of money okay i'm not saying you guys do i'm just saying others in your circle have clearly not been on the up and up you do have addictive behaviors going on here it's either you or the people in your in your environment so only allow in your circle cancer only allow the friends family your circle of close-knit people who gives ask yourself this who gives you who makes you a better person cancer who makes you what choices make you a better person for your own for your own self because the people in your in your world that have these addictive behaviors etc are our patterns, they, they, those are karmic issues that w need to be resolved and learned from and forgiven so you can start clean, you know, and learn from them because they're representations of you. Okay, so I'm going to tell you right now that first and foremost, someone had these exact, almost exact, same cards. I think it was Taurus. It could be a Taurus moon, sun, moon, or rising that you're dealing with. Okay. You have romantic feelings, but let those romantic feelings be, look it, this is Venus shooting the arrow right at romance, right? But make it the right kind of romance, the one that you engage in conversation with where you've been and where you're going. Make this conversation about the lessons that you've learned and what they've learned. Law of attraction, like attracts like. Law of attraction. You are going to be engaging in conversation with someone who's been through the exact same thing that you have. They're mirroring each other, see? Venus is shooting the arrow at someone and bringing someone in that has had the same exact storyline. Same thing that you've been through. And you're going to be able to engage in deep conversation about the wisdom and forgiveness that you've learned and forgive. Excuse me. Forgive yourself. And it took like a huge gulp for me to say that, right? It's the hardest thing to do. You need to forgive yourself and forgive others. So the arrow of love is pointing to your engaging in conversation, 
Your feelings are real. You are lovable. So most importantly, love yourself. Start there. Cancer. Start with loving yourself. What you were dealing with in the past was about loyalty. You both had it. You have a dog here. You have a loyal animal, whether it's a dog or a cat, makes no difference. Animals are all loyal to their owners. So there was a question in your past cancer of loyalty, trust. So you are both coming together with that same lesson of loyalty and trust. You're going to have that connection because of that. And you're going to engage in this conversation because you've learned both of you have learned because now you found a place in your heart to love yourself first and to learn with the lessons that you've been taught. You're, you're also being asked to be patient with this, with this, with these feelings of love that you have and the lessons that you've learned. And it's going to take time to heal from all of this and forgive Forgiveness is most important for yourself. When you see you deserve love, it's all about loving yourself enough to forgive yourself first. Okay? And then that creates romantic feelings with someone who has the same path. The journey is, you've been on the same journey, to not together, but you've been on the similar journey of being in relationships that were untrustworthy. The loyalty was questionable. Your loyalty could have been questioned. The angels are backing you up. Okay? All right. So with those three cards, we're going to ask my favorite cards, the Rumi cards, to summarize the reading, which Rumi has done so eloquently in all my readings. I'm only going to pick one card for Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising. If this is a pattern of a divorce that has happened once before and you're going through it again, and, you know, when you were growing up and again now, if at this stage of your life, right, if you are going through that, love yourself enough to understand what other people's stories are. Forgive them, right? We don't know how people, we don't know what people go through. We really don't. Okay, so Rumi's going to summarize with one card this reading for you. I'm only going to read the, that's it. It literally flew. I'm only going to read the poem because these cards are really in-depth. Your number is 24. So Cancer, the universe is asking you to please heal and balance your life and be graced with the loving presence of the divine, which you are being lifted into a new level, a higher vibration of understanding is what I hear. The card says, resplendent with grace, number 24. Okay, and this card says, this poem is long, Greetings from my heart to you who always with me, who are always with me. Let me show you this without the... Hidden inside as the heart, you are the compass of my life. My course is your way no matter where I go. You exist everywhere and in everything, always matching, always watching over us. My soul brightens in the darkness when I speak your name. Far beyond the body, there is an opening from my heart into yours. Through that opening, I send you secret messages like the moonlight. I polish the mirror of my heart to be your reflection. I make my ear the receiver for the tenderness of your words. You are in the ear, you are in the mind, you are in every burning heart. And what am I saying? You are I. 
This is my way to describe you. So love is saying, open your heart to the highest love, divine love, compassionate love that is within you. You are being graced with this gift, Cancer. Open your heart. Believe in your heart center that you deserve love. Because it is a mere reflection of you. It's beautiful. Find the balance. This is a reflection of you. Of you. You are lovable, Cancer. The arrows of love are pointing at you first. And then you will engage with your mere reflection staring right back at you once you do that. Wow. Right? Wow. It's beautiful. All right, Cancer, I wish you much love, blessings, and I'll see you next month. Okay.